see the psychiatrist. This is again. I don't know. I think I've been doing it for about two, three months now. My main goal is just to keep everything as organized as I can because we are stuffing a lot of stuff in a small space but if I keep like a place for everything and everything in this place then I can get to it easily and then also I don't feel like I'm like taking over her house even though my mother-in-law so accommodating she's so accommodating so sweet but I just don't want to come in and just like have my stuff all over her house so she feels like ah! that is closed I'm gonna wash those but I have no idea where I'm gonna put them because as you going about to see our room is packed so this is our room now we were going to put hold on one second I'm going to put the fireplace in the storage room but there was no space in the storage room because my brother has a treadmill and then we had we had more boxes than I guess we thought we did so it came in here and I don't hate it I kind of like if we when we get our new place I might keep my fireplace in my room I think having our own room with fireplace is pretty swanky so Jarrell just put this right here just so the kids because you know kids coming in messing up the wood um I hung these up these are all bags and backpacks my nightgown his robe and stuff goes here um this is Mr. Alonzo that I kept um, and I put my keys. This is Mr. Lonzo's hat that he wore before he passed. J. Rowe's a big Steelers fan. And these are all the kids' backpacks when we go out for snacks. This is J. Rowe's side of the room. I took the tables that went in the living room and made it into end tables, which I really, I like these as end tables better than I like them as tables in our living room. J. Rowe's slippers and his Steelers tails. Fake plant from my house. Um, these pictures were in the bathroom. That picture was in the living room, but it's my mom, so it means a lot to me, so I like to keep it near me. Um, this picture was in the bathroom also. That's Mr. Monzo's lamp that I kept. That's my makeshift baby section for in the middle of the night. A holy Bible, because the word, Lord. Fake flowers. I had these in my kitchen, but I felt like they look cute in here, so I kind of zigzagged them out. These were clean sheets, so they work. Um, I took the curtains from the living room and just brought them in here. Hampers, you know what they do. This bag I'm obsessed with. Terrence just got me this. My dad and Terrence just brought this for me. It's the University of um, Baltimore where Terrence graduated, and I love it. You can stick everything in it. It has like a sweat material, like a sweatshirt material, and it's just pink and gray and I'm just like obsessed like this is my new life bag so the two girls Ava and Alana are sharing their room with Vivi which is a real blessing because as you saw our room was packed and Vivi just I guess wanted to spend you know more time with them and they really only come in here at night to sleep or if Ava wants to take a nap but she usually naps in my room anyway they are this new thing where they don't want pillowcases on their pillowcases comment below and tell me if your kids are doing that because they have pillowcases and then they take them off this one is the girl she gave the girls this drawer and this drawer is usually better but J-Rell was getting clothes this morning for Alana to go to summer camp but this is just designated to skirts these are skirts and um shorts and like capris that I had cut up hmm I want my bugs. Okay, good job. Wash your hands and okay. flush the toilet. And um, shorts and stuff. Okay, wash your hands and shorts and stuff like that. So that's all three girls' skirts and pants are in this one drawer. Like, so this is their one closet. Um, and this is all their dresses and a few skirts that, like, this one they never, she never wore and things like that. And also some of the clothes that Dawn sent us that are new that Alana's been wearing to summer camp and their jackets. This is the shoe bin. This has j Raw shoes and extra shoes, um, but they have a bin by the door that the kids like the shoes that they just wear. But this is just a bin in here, just some extra shoes. Um, also, j Raw was must have been in this bin, but this is just extra clothes. My kids have so many clothes, but 
God bless them. Um, this is just extra clothes. This is a mixture of clothes and this dirty rusty pillow is my mommy's pillow that I haven't washed since she's passed so don't judge. It's my mommy's pillow. And then this is the extra suitcase and more clothes. So this is the clothes room That is for really um, showing you how we kind of squished a family of five in uh, a limited space. So which is still feels very comfortable and very homey. Um, I really like the decorations and things from my knickknacks for my house and my mom being close because it makes me feel like, you know. Nervous. It makes you feel nervous? Say hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, did you show me your hair? Mm -hmm. We did our hair. We blow dried her hair for the first time. I'm gonna insert pictures because I didn't vlog that, but I'm gonna insert pictures, but it was my first time blow drying. Yeah. Cause I love you Just the way you look tonight And this is also the first time me adding a little bit of fake hair But it's summertime and the kids are going to be swimming and stuff It's her hair I was kind of nervous because I don't You know, my whole thing is I don't want my kids to look too grown So... This is, I just added just, I only used one pack of Marley hair and it was just kind of like, like I said, for bulk and just to protect her when she's in the water and just so it wouldn't unravel that fast and I burnt the ends. I didn't add any beads or anything because I didn't want to do fake hair and beads. I just thought that that would be a little bit much. But tell me, do you think she's, she's three if she's too young for this? Daddy! Daddy's home. Where are we going, Mommy? I got a doctor's appointment. Aww. I have a doctor's appointment to see the psychiatrist. This is again. I don't know. I think I've been doing it for about two, three months now. So I you do follow up appointments with him. But I want to go to the movies. The movies? Yes. No, not today. We're not going to the movies. So Please. we're about to head into the psychiatrist appointment. Look this like cheese bread kit thing that came with marinara sauce and garlic sauce so I made that so when we came home I could just stick it in the oven and uh, eat something really quick because the kids and I are hungry um, j Roll's off to play basketball and I have dinner all out I just have to cook it I think I'm making chicken shrimp broccoli alfredo tonight so that sounds really good so I will see you guys tomorrow see y'all with each smile, your tenderness grows, tearing my fear.